Reading from Coming Home Baby, but perhaps my best known poem, and a poem that um, is in free verse and is conversational, uh, relaxed. It signal a sort of my finding my vi- my voice, or at least I think I have found my voice with this particular poem. So here it is. I have come back. I have not returned. MacArthur returns. The prodigal son returns. Ellen Yo returned. Uh, being just me, well, I only come back. Only the first son of a middle class insurance club who depended on his salary, his only source of income. In any case, I had to come back, bonded to the government what? Also, I want to come back, I mean. London, yes, two years scholarship, the only way I could go. English, no, not this time. Not this government, education. Not exactly blue collar, but more practical, don't you think? Winter. But there are ways of keeping summer, especially an English summer. This is the rugged society anyway, and I take it I can be a member. I know it turned rugged when I was away, but I'm back now. Two, back to mother at 50, looking 40, and to all at home. Back. To my uncle's eldest boy who does not who does not know why his voice broke. I soon met my aunts. You have not changed, said third aunt, surprised but pleased. Just the same. Only your hair is longer, like beetles, agreed first aunt. Why only? said second aunt. But lucky you have not changed. I was afraid you would come back speaking like a white man coming out through the nose or else with a white wife. Your mother was scared only. They're happy. I have not changed. My mum's happy. I've come back. I'm happy knowing I have changed. That otherwise things are very much the same. Three. Five years ago, along Surangoon Road, Pompo's bungalow used to peel. Ten years ago, in the dining room behind, probably, where the Tauke served Admiral Kapil, complete with chrysanthemum tea from his Cantonese garden, my uncle had a dance studio. When I was away, the last tenants in the room next door must have left I wonder, were they his relatives? They must have known for sure when the engineers came to assemble the bridge and demolish the bungalow. We lacked a cause then. Five years ago, we had no history and therefore no historical monument to preserve. After Wampo died, according to Song Ong Siang, the property was sold to Mr. Sia Liang Sia, who named it Bendemir. And after that, dust, plastering rooms, sometimes shrill with crickets, dust from lorries that dumped into a new estate. On this miraculous island, no hill is lost that is not found elsewhere more useful than it was. Us Jerome, us Kalang, most of all, us the sea. Nothing is new except what is forgotten. That's it. Okay. Really, really well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>